because I'm going to be doing a video all about online school and I have two things to say before I start the video. The very first one is that every online school is different between every different program of online school and throughout every state. Every online school is different so if you hear me say something and then you go look into an online school and you're like that is totally different than what McKenna said. It's most likely a different online school than what I do so just keep in mind that every single online school is different and the policies change and you know stuff like that is different between each school. Second thing I wanted to mention is that if you have any questions or anything at the end of this video please 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 make sure to leave them down below in the comment section because I could talk about online school for probably an hour and I don't want to make an hour long video so there are quite a few things in this video I'm not going to be covering. So if you have any questions, please leave them down below and I will do a second part to this video like an online school Q&A video. So without any further ado, because I already rambled long enough, let's just get started with the video. First thing I want to talk about with online school is the flexibility. This is probably my favorite thing about online school because let's say you're a high schooler and you want to have a job and so you can have a full-time job with online school. You can work from 8 in the morning till 8 in the evening and then you can do your online school at night. I mean you might not have any time for any sleep but we're just going to roll with it. Um, so you can have a job at night because with the online school I do it's open 24 hours a day so you can log into your online school account throughout any point in the day if you want to do school at 1 o'clock in the morning because you can't sleep fine do it at 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, so that's the greatest thing about online school. It's so much flexibler. Flexibler? Is that a word? I don't know. There's a lot of flexibility with online school and you can really, you know, just change up your day. If you want to go to lunch with your friends in the middle of the day, you can do that because with actual school you probably can't. So that's a big plus with online school. The second thing is the type of person you have to be to do an online school. If you're a non-self-motivated person, online school is not for you. I consider myself a self-motivated person and even at the beginning of the year when I started doing online school, I really found that even though I'm self-motivated, it was it's still hard because it's online school is I don't want to say whimsy, but you can definitely get away with not doing some of the stuff. But you need to do it because otherwise your grades will just start slipping. That's kind of what happened to me. I like wasn't doing some of the worksheets and stuff. I was like, oh well, like it doesn't say I have to do it. So I didn't do it. And let me tell you guys, you will have to do that stuff because otherwise your grades are just going to slip. So if you're not a self-motivated person, online school is not for you. You have to be a really, really, really self-motivated person and able to do online school because otherwise your grades are just going to totally, totally fall. Third thing I want to talk about with online school is that you can work at your own pace, which is a huge benefit. When you go to an actual school, if you're in like math class or something, and you don't, if you have a question about something and you don't raise your hand, the teacher's just going to keep moving on and you're not going to get it. You're not going to understand it. Well, with online school, when you're in math class, you're kind of like your own teacher because you're the one clicking the next step. And so if you don't get something, it's way more like readily available for you to go ask your parent. Or you could email your teacher or you could look it up online. You can go on YouTube and look up a how to divide or something, you know. So you can work at your own pace. I know that personally I was, I don't want to say wasting time in school, but I always felt like I was waiting on other kids to finish their work because I work usually a little bit faster than most of the kids. So it's really nice. I can work at my own pace. And, you know, in the subjects I struggle in, I can spend more time on it. And the subjects I'm better at, I can just work at my own pace and go through them. Fourth thing I want to talk about with online school is that you miss out on daily interactions with people. And that might be a struggle for some people. I know there's a lot of people that are really outgoing and they're like a people person. And then there's other people like me who like it doesn't really matter. I going to school, the hardest thing for me was actually being around all the people. And towards the end of the year, I would get in a huge funk because I was like so sick of being around all these people five days a week and that's like totally understandable I get like that but if you are somebody who loves being around people 
it might be hard for you to like be doing this in your room by yourself. Yes, you can still talk to the kids like or whatever on your online school, but you're not going to be going to school every single day and seeing your friends. You can still have a social life with online school, but you're not going to be going to school, seeing your teachers, talking to our teachers in person, talking to your friends in person. So that's something that you miss out with on online school. And for me, it doesn't bother me, but for other people, I know it might. The fifth thing I want to talk about with online school is that it is a lot easier to maintain good grades. And I say this because your relationships with your teachers are more of a one-on-one -on -one relationship. In class, you're kind of, I wouldn't say that your relationship is a one-on-one -on -one with your teacher when you're going to an actual school because you don't really like just talk to a teacher one-on-one, -on -one. at least I didn't. Um, I got to know my teachers really well, I felt like, and I felt like I became like good friends with some of my teachers. but. Like, it's not one-on-one. -on -one. So I think it's easier to maintain your grades because with online school, you can email your teacher if you're having problems. You can call them on the phone. You can even have like a Skype kind of call. It's not Skype, but um, basically you can talk to your teacher over a microphone and they can help you with your homework or they can, they can just help explain things to you. And I feel like it's a more one-on-one -on -one relationship and it's a lot easier to maintain good grades or to raise your grades and so I think that's a huge plus with online school. I think this is the sixth thing I'm talking about now. I have no idea but um, the next thing is that you don't have any homework. Now you can definitely make homework for yourself. I'm not saying that I don't have homework because I do but I don't call it homework. So the way it works is you have a lesson and basically that lesson is like your class. So that's like your class time and then you have an assignment. And so basically in a real school, that would be considered your homework, but I do all of that in one. So I do my math lesson my math assignment, which is my homework, and then I'm done with math for the day. And so it's awesome because over the weekend you don't have any homework. I like to get it done all at once. You could definitely save your assignments for the end of the day and do them, but I like to just get it done all at once and be done for the rest of the day. Like literally at three o'clock or whatever time I'm done with school, I usually get done at like one to two o'clock. I close my computer and girl, I'm done with school for the whole day. So that's all like big, 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 big plus with online school. The next thing I want to talk about is that you can control your environment. And uh, by that I mean I'm somebody who I have to work in like dead silence. If there's like a paper rustling or something, my brain's out of it. Like I'm gone and it just irritates me when like people are messing around and stuff and I'm trying to take a test. So it's really a lot easier to control your environment. When you're sitting in a classroom, you can't control what other people are doing. So if it's loud, it's loud. If it's quiet, it's quiet. But you can control your environment. So if you like white noise in the background, you can turn white noise on. Or if you like to be completely silent, you can make your room completely silent. And I think that's really, really great. The last thing I wanted to talk about is how you can get into online school. This is a question one of my friends actually asked me, so I'm going to explain it to you guys. There are two types of online school. There's private academies and there are public schools. I do a public school, so basically a public online school is just like a regular public school you would go to. It's free, you get the same exact education as you would in an actual school, and um, yeah. The second school, the private schools, are the ones you have to pay for. I would have think they'd probably be around five to 7000 I know I looked into one one time, it was like 5000 a year. I could be completely wrong, every school I'm sure is different. So there's uh, two different kinds of schools. Now within every state, it's going to be completely different. So in California, there's going to be a, there's a bunch of online schools in California. But in Missouri, which is where I'm from, there's only one online school that you can do, and it's a private academy. So it really varies between your states. Um, for the public online school that I go to, it was just like registering for a regular school that you would go to. They, you fill out forms, you talk to people. Like it's really easy to kind of like get in. Um, so that's how you get into an online school. It varies between every state. So just look up online schools for your state and you can go through the list and see what kind of options are available for your online school and your state. So that's the end of the video. Oh my gosh, I rambled so much, I know. <laughs> like I said in the beginning of this video, if you guys have any questions that I did not answer, please, please, please leave them down below in the comments because I would love to do a second part to this video. I know I did not cover everything because I, like I said, I could seriously talk for like hours about this subject. But um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this helped you out, whether you just wanted to learn more about an online school or you wanted to, you know, you're considering doing one. I really hope this helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!